this week actually um mm-hmm. Asian doll was trending on Twitter. Okay. Now it happened after she walked off of this podcast called the Fresh Fit Podcast. It's very popular. Well, I wouldn't say very popular, but it's kind of people know about it on YouTube. <laughs> these are the I'm, same. What? I'm mad that you said I won't say it's popular, but people know about it. <laughs> <laughs> the no, shade. I, I'm, well, I'm just saying, like a lot of a lot of people watch it, you know, to get some type of because you know I feel like everybody get on these platforms and they want to follow the uh, Kevin Samuels blue blueprint. Um. Yeah, and when you get into their show, it's 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 very Kevin Samuels esque. But I mean, at least he has a little bit of substance. But anyway, that's besides the point. They got on this show, and apparently, Asian all got into got into it between the co hosts. Uh, one of the co hosts because she was like, I guess, talking during the show or whatever, or she was having like side conversations multiple times. So that like caused him to like, you know, be like, shut up. And it's that the third. And they go back and forth and it gets real. Like, you know, if you know about the Fresh and Fit podcast, it was like, I think a m- couple months ago where like one of the co-hosts, not the co-hosts, but one of the guests allegedly put a gun out on a, what's his name? Academics. I don't know if you heard about that, but that happened. Like, so this show is, it gets there. Like it gets real, like aggressive when the arguments, it's like one of those um battle of the exes type conversation pieces you know what i'm saying yeah um so that happened and she you know she walked off this she walked off you know she was like i ain't dealing with that she was trending on um twitter because they resurfaced like other and this is and this is where the conversation kind of layers because they initially like resurfaced a couple of videos of them like really like talking crap about black women right like saying that oh one of the comments were Oh well, I, I don't do the Shaniquas, or I, I'm not into the nightlife, and this, that, and the third. Talking about dark skinned women, um, so that kind of put a real big like magnifying glass on the show. So they responded and was like, "Oh well, it's my preference. It's my preference." Right. So it, so that's kind of what a lot of people were talking about. I mean, I know a lot of people like Joe Budden was talking about it. Like there was um, people on social media, you know, TikTok. Usually, it's a mess. My whole thing with the with the conversation about his preference or whatever is just like that wasn't the that wasn't the conversation. You were you are being challenged because people are posting like resurface videos of you coming for black women, like preference or not. Right. Well, I mean, even even researching their show and like um I saw a tweet that said, um, no black girls need to be going on the Fresh and Fit podcast. That's it. Let those ding dongs talk amongst themselves with their white girls and like Mm. A lot of the tweets say that they are they are really anti-black and um, anti-minority women, yeah, um, because of their patriarchal and misogynistic like attitudes. But I think that you know it's a conversation that has to be had because there are other people that are people. There are still people who think like that, and I mean, it's sad. But having black girls being o- being okay with going into those spaces to defend themselves, yeah, um, I think it's admirable. So I applaud Asian Doll for going, and I also applaud her for walking away. Um, yeah, because she, she, like she, she was being like, yeah. yeah, way worse. But my right, thing I'm is, like, that's Queen Von. Y'all better be glad that place didn't get shot up. Oh, not. But like I said, someone already done put out a gun on on DJ Academics. When you, the thing about it is though, if I understand, like, as a as a podcaster's perspective, like, if somebody's having side conversations and you, you know, this is some for some. In most cases, people listen to it, so it's like, I'm not yeah. listening to this if it's if it's mad people talking and it's commotion, it's messing up the energy. Um, turn off their mics. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's there there could have been other ways to get around that, or maybe have like an, or start an environment. You had them on the show. Obviously, they were a guest, so like mm-hmm. talk about things that included them in it. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it, it just goes back to what I said about people just getting a microphone and just saying whatever. Welcome to the world of podcasting. <laughs> Not the world of podcasting. At least at least have some type of like you know you rehearse. You done you done you done got some you got some notes on the side. I don't know. I mean it's 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 really weird. Well, y'all better let them don I'm as niggas go. <laughs> let them go. <laughs> I don't know, Cheryl. 